Fort Benning is at the forefront of innovative programs in the Army, but one program in particular is affecting the way the Army as a whole thinks of performance. The CSF Prep Center is constantly improving, and this time the soldiers have to learn to work as a team. Comprehensive soldier fitness can be applied to many aspects of a soldier's life, but this week the Prep Center is focusing on a soldier's individual and team performance. We have them in groups of three or four, so there's an added strategy of do they plan which tasks they do first. Only one team can be at a station at a time, so do they flex to another station? Is there a deliberate reason for it? And then there's kind of outside the box thinking that can be done at each task. The goal of this exercise is to have soldiers use the typical Army team scenario to evaluate their personal performance and ask themselves questions about their leadership. Do they tap into their team members to do that? Um, do they have one person doing all sorts of tasks that physically tax the same area of their body? Um, what kind of strategy are they involved there? And then ultimately, individually AAR it, so how did I perform? Where was I in the team? Did I carry my own load? How did I act mentally in it? These questions come from the initial performance course, but the answers come later in the week as the performance enhancement specialists help each soldier work to better themselves for the final course. Throughout the week, they're going to receive our same mental skills training and based on that self-awareness, not only see how they reacted in the situation, but how that will play out as them as leaders. As the Army's coming platoon and squad leaders, they need to be aware of how to go from physical exhaustion to mental acuity, a task that gets increasingly more difficult as part of a team. Downrange, that's going to happen. You're going to be smoked physically and then have to perform a task or think clearly and especially as leaders that's something that they're going to face every day so we do some tasks to try to you know get their heart rate up get them a bit tired and then thread a needle they're simple mental tasks but they represent so much more mental fitness and resiliency just coincides with a, a whole lot of other attributes that you do as far as other kind of training and being deployed in the army the goal of the team performance course is to help soldiers understand what their goals should be as leaders. At the end of the week, our goal is that each soldier comes away with at least some more awareness about how they act under pressure, what their mind does in that, and then ultimately taking not only our skills and applying to themselves, but starting to use it in the way they lead and the way they lead other soldiers. After this course, the soldiers should be able to recognize and focus their energy, whether it be mental or physical, into the tasks required of them as the future leadership of the force.